Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. I am coming to you with a very brief news episode today. There has been a lot of momentum gathering in Florida, in Miami, and something big is going to happen. And I am really very excited about this because this could not happen in a more perfect state or even a more perfect city. Absolutely everything about Miami is perfect, perfect for the Boeing company. Uh, you, you know, you've, you've got a mayor who really supports this kind of proposal. Uh, you've got a nice, you know, dense city, which is reasonably compact as well. So you're going to get, you know, good transport usage. Um, and it's, you know, a growing, thriving city with real ambitions to become, you know, potentially the best place to, to live and work in uh, America in terms of major cities anyway. So this, all this news has been gathering over the sort of the last sort of 10 days or so. Various things have been going on. I thought I'd just kind of summarize it in one quick video and try and tell you what's going on. Um, there's, there's not really enough information at the moment for me to, to come out and try and uh, cost this uh, proposal or try and kind of outline what I think is going to happen here. But there's going to be a proposal. So let's, let's have a look at the news first of all. So... Uh, as always, Tesla Arati is by far the best place to get your boring news. Um, Miami Mayor Francis Suarez is seeking federal funding. So that's that's good news. Essentially, we don't need, or the Boeing company does not need federal funding. They can fund their own projects. But if the federal government is going to give you a bit of a, a leg up, as it were, why not just take the money and then pay them back later? I'll just take the money. But to uh, to build a Boeing Company transit system, so it's going to be uh, an intra-city uh, kind of transport solution. Uh, run for the federal government when you involve yourself in the project. I, I'm not, to be frank and honest with you, I'm not really too bothered about that. But um, what I'm more interested in is the enthusiasm and the level of uh, interest that is being pushed towards the Boeing Company about building a system here. So... Um, he apparently he's going to approach uh, Secretary Buttigieg, um, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, but, yeah, so it's going to be a big system, a real big system, potentially. Uh, in terms of um, actual miles of tunnel, probably over 20 miles of tunnel. So it's probably going to be slightly smaller um than initially anyway it's gonna be slightly smaller than the las vegas proposal but still that's a good size that's going to be lots and lots of potential customers for the boeing company to to bring in and, and lots of mileage there uh, to get up to high speeds what has um francis suarez actually said i really like francis uh i really like him a lot he says a lot of good things uh not just about the boeing company just, Lots of other political things. I, I, I agree with him on many, many points. He's done a, over the past 12 months, uh, 18 months, he has done an incredible job. And uh, the fact that he's reaching out to Elon Musk and the Boeing Company is kind of the icing on the cake for me. Um, so let's see what exactly he said. Uh, and it was all good stuff. So last Friday, I went uh, up with. delegation met oh. with the president of the boring company steve davis to discuss an intercity transit system city it became very evident to me after going in the tunnels of las vegas that the system that would work the best for the city of miami is one that's significantly greater than what i originally had envisioned what we will be working on is something that could potentially connect brickle to downtown winwood midtown design district and all the way north to little haiti you're basically driving in a paved tunnel with a driver in a car and what's good about that is it also allows you to break off and it creates a lot of efficiencies and people can get through a lot faster the throughput is significantly higher and in the las vegas tunnel i think the throughput right now that they have engineered is about eight thousand per hour which still would get you significantly more than the metro rail does but it can so straight away the big news it's official now I believe they're talking about the system at the convention center potentially could do up to 8,000 passengers per hour. So straight away, that's great. He's then talking about much more throughput for potential Miami system, which I hope they would easily achieve with larger vehicles and also potentially 
running those vehicles in uh, convoys or platoons, however you want to phrase it. Every time uh, Francis talks about the Boeing company, you can tell he's enthusiastic about it. He wants it. Elon Musk obviously is saying all the right things. He's giving him the right numbers because this is a numbers game at the end of the day. You have got to give him a proposal that is, is just so good, so low, that he cannot refuse it because it fixes a lot of problems. It For, for Francis Suarez, this fixes many problems for Miami because traffic is awful. There's quite a lot of pollution and, you know, the, the, the roads are not, are not great. And Miami's quite spread out. You know, there's lots of urban sprawl. This kind of system is going to make it a lot more interesting for companies because he, he wants it to become like a tech hub he wants to get you know uh bitcoin used in this in miami more he wants to to bring in all the tech companies from you know silicon valley in california and he, he wants lots and lots of people working in this area and he wants to remove all those disadvantages that you associated with california such as high tax and congestion and, and, and you know infrastructure's pretty mediocre in california he wants to have Amazing infrastructure, perfect place to set up a business. You know, uh, you know, it, it's it's essentially a friction-free environment for for businesses to, to thrive and for people to live and uh, to grow. And and if he can get some federal funding for this, this is going to be incredible. Um, I, I'm not too fussed about that. Again, I'll say that again. But the Boeing company should be able to build out this system relatively fast if they are getting up towards 100 meters. Um, per day, getting up towards that kind of number, if they have various TBMs, they could really, you know, force through this quite quickly. And remember all those people who were saying that it's impossible to build tunnels in Florida? Well, why are the Boeing companies suddenly very, very enthusiastic about building in this area if they can't do it? Obviously, it's been well looked at. I've looked at it in a previous video. This can be done. It's going to be relatively risk free and a low low cost i'm very very impressed with that again another article here in tesla arty um someone else has reached out to the boeing company to potentially get another project i, I i'm assuming this is is uh separate uh, I, I don't know miami too well in terms of the areas i'm going to cover this in a, in a separate video i think um, because there were mentions of a few areas in that previous video we just watched. Uh, but this gentleman here, uh, Michael Joseph, has been talking to Elon Musk and the Boeing company and probably Steve Davis as well uh, and saying, hey, you know, I've got another idea and I, I want to get involved and we're not that far away. And this also looks like a really good proposal, very straight line. This curve here, do not worry about it. It is quite... Um, it's, 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 it's straighter than it looks, basically, and it's, it's a wide road. It's, it's like a six-lane highway. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's not going to slow you down that much. You're still going to go through the 100 miles an hour, and then the rest of it is very, very straight. There's lots of traffic in this area, lots of people living and working in this area. This makes perfect sense uh, to have some kind of mass transit sort of intra-city kind of system. Um, brilliant, brilliant. Um, yeah, so what else has this person been saying? Well... Uh, in this article, as you can see here, uh, they're trying to capitalize on Elon Musk's newfound interest in South Florida. Uh, Vice Mayor Michael Joseph and his staff lay out a plan for bringing a tunnel transit route underneath State Road 826 between the Golden Glades Exchange and the city of Sunny Isles Beach. What a great name, Sunny Isles Beach. A proposed additional leg north and south along Biscayne Boulevard. Wonderful. Uh, Joseph said he spoke with the Boeing company officials on multiple occasions. So these guys have been talking a lot. Uh, and this bit impressed me as well. This month, and as a follow-up call slate for early April, Joseph tweeted about the idea on February the 13th, tagging Musk and the Boeing company. Uh, the Boeing company are not going to comment. I, I keep seeing this quite a lot, where people reach out to the Boeing company and the Boeing company are just like, look, we're not going to talk to you. We we're going to work on this proposal, and then once we've, you know, finalised it and, and you know refined it and, and made it, you know, as perfect as we can on paper, then we might speak to you. In the meantime, please go away. Don't bother us. <laughs> That's just how it's going to be. The Boeing company is still essentially a startup. There's there's not thousands of people working at the Boeing company, so 
I like that. Uh, they plan to do a range of options, given our situation and say what they can do. That's great. So they're not just saying, hey, this is what we need to build here. They're saying, hey, here's option A, B and C. Uh, you know, here's the pros of this one. Here's the cons of this one. That's great. Uh, he said cost and funding sources have yet to be discussed. Um, I think the Boeing Company, again, this is about 4.77 miles. So in total, it's just over uh, 9.4 uh, miles. So it should be able to f be funded by the Boeing Company on its own. Um, they should be able to raise the money for that reasonably quickly I, I, there's, there's no risk there the boy company could go out tomorrow and just say you, you know here please uh, please pay us for 10 percent. we'll give you you know uh, you need to pay us 200 million for 10 percent of the company Eight, you know it's pretty, miles more than that in fact one percent one percent of the company for 200 million they, they could easily go out there and, and, and people would just snap the hand off for that e even though if this is still a startup with essentially one project you know people are going to go out there and snap money they, they can raise this money. I'm pretty confident they could probably go to a bank as well and just say, hey, we're building a project here. This is how much money we think we're going to turn over. If we charge $7 per ticket one way, would you lend us, you know, $100 million? I'm pretty sure with all the money that's swashing around at the moment in the US, I mean, uh, you know, Joe Biden's just done his um, infrastructure proposal. That was, I believe, $2.5 trillion. I, I'm pretty confident that they could probably find... 100 million for this project. And it's probably going to be less than that, really. Um, there, there was one bit where I'm sure he said he made a proposal. I can't remember where it was. Uh, Joe says there's no reason why a city like North Miami Beach shouldn't also be considered for the Boeing Company project. At a city commission meeting last Wednesday, Joseph told his colleagues that he, the city manager and the city attorney, were on a recent call with the Boeing Company representatives. And it went very well. That's great to hear. It went very well because they had a, a, a set of plans for you and then they told you the price, didn't they, Joseph? And that price was bloody low. And we know it's going to be low because the tech that they're working on and the kind of uh, concepts that they're proposing are focused on the cost and getting the cost down, making it affordable, high throughput, very efficient, high quality systems. So it, you know, if you're a public official and someone comes up to you and says, hey, we want to build a metro uh, system in your city, uh, Joseph, uh, don't worry, it's only going to cost, you know, $34 million per mile at the moment, but, you know, po projects, you know, do tend to go over budget and it might end up costing 42, but don't, don't worry about that. You know, you'll be out of office by the time we finish anyway. But the Boeing company's coming in there and he, they've probably said something like, look, Per like mile of tunnel that's constructed by one TBM, we're looking at six million, six point five million dollars. So, you, you know you're going to be impressed. So Joe said he hoped to host company exec executives in the city sometime in April to scout potential sites. Uh, very few reliable transit options. Helpless every day through hours of traffic and delays. And it, it the traffic in in Miami is horrific and. Something needs to be done about it. And this is the perfect solution. Uh, there was one bit, I'm sure he said that he had submitted his own kind of plan based on what the Boeing Company have said. I might have gone through and missed it. Uh, but anyway, so this is good news. This is really, really good news. This guy, again, very, very enthusiastic. Everyone who speaks to the Boeing Company and comes back and they see the ideas and they see the costs and they see how quickly it can be built and they see the potential uh, throughput of these systems and how it can be expanded in the future and instantly they become excited, they become enthused by the, the, the idea and they're desperate to have it in their city, desperate to get it built and that's great. So um, here he is tweeting about this. Uh, I unfortunately missed this tweet uh, which is a great shame. Um, that was February the 23rd. Uh, Michael Joseph Esquire. Lovely. Uh, seems like a nice gentleman. He's he's definitely got his head screwed on if he's talking to the Boeing company, so that's good. Um, what else was that? Um, in fact, there was one, there was a video, I believe, in here that I could play you. I hope. Here it is. I'll just play this video because this is a, a bit more about what's been said. With Elon Musk obviously discussing tunnels in the city of Miami. I'm looking forward to seeing his concept in Las Vegas. Uh, he's focused on trying to deliver a project 
that will have the maximum utility of four residents for uh, the least amount of money. Uh, the order of magnitude in terms of savings is, is significant. We talked a lot about the Brickle Tunnel project, which was priced out at a billion dollars, and he feels can be done much closer to $30 million. Uh, so uh, obviously without uh, being able to sort of rely on that particular uh, price point, um, that is what he uh, believes is something like that can be done for, and it can be done in about six months. So I'm gonna obviously be discussing this issue with uh, the governor, with uh, the county mayor, because I think we have a unique opportunity to create uh, a signature project, not just for Miami, but for the world, uh, that uh, will bring people from across the world to see this solution and will allow it to scale to more trans transportation solutions throughout the city. So again, he's enthusiastic about it. He's very, very interested. The fact, and he's talked about this, I believe, on four different occasions now. So, you know, he's not going out to the media and the media not asking him questions. Uh, for the reason that he, he, he's thinking about it. He's deadly serious about this. He, it's gone beyond thinking about doing it. He wants to get it done. And that's the kind of the thing I want to leave you with today. This is going to happen. And it couldn't happen in a more perfect city, in a more perfect state. Um, if this does happen, I'm definitely going to be going to Florida. I think I might know someone who might help me out when I get there. You know who you are. And uh, we're going to have a good look around and explore this project because this is going to be absolutely phenomenal. In addition to this, Las Vegas is potentially going to be going, you know, full bore ahead. And there's lots of other little projects. If you watch my quarterly reports, there's lots and lots of other little projects that potentially could get going here, including the uh, Ontario Airport project uh, in California. So I think on that one, we will call it a day. Okay, everyone, thank you for joining me. I hope you were equally excited about that potential project as I am. And I think we are going to say thank you and good night. And remember, don't be boring. I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.